Yep, and welcome to sunny Derbyshire. Today I wanted to talk about a competition that I ran early this year. A competition for a Supreme Coat Gold Card membership. And for this competition I wanted you to send in your most calamity filled stories. Now we've got a couple, um, some of them I can't actually put online, I don't fancy getting into that much trouble. But there were two that really stuck it out. Um, there's one from XAN Biker. And I want to start by telling you his story. This is definitely true. I went to Eureka Springs this past fall and tent camped at Flathead's Rally Point. I got there on Thursday afternoon, tired and dehydrated. Well, it's my fault. Got to the tent and the rest of the camp set up. At first, things were great. I met other motor vloggers. That first evening it rained and it was all good. A couple I knew from the YouTube side invited me to stay in their hauler. But on the second night things were worse and I stayed in my tent. But I discovered it was full of ants. I was totally frustrated. I left Saturday morning and literally left my tent and air mattress for anyone who wanted them. While on my six hour ride home, just outside Mammoth Springs, Arkansas, my rear tower went flat. Thankfully, some guy from the local riding group saw the situation and was able to trailer my bike to their private shop in town. Found the source of the flat and plugged the tyre and got me and my bike back on the road. Two and a half hours later, while at Interstate 55 at Scott City, Missouri, the plug let loose and the tyre went flat rapidly. While I was thankful, I was only doing 65 miles an hour. I'm still trying to figure out how I stayed upright. But at this point, I was only an hour from home and happened to know someone who lived just two miles from Scott City exit. He was kind enough to trailer the bike 60 miles to my house. What should have been a six hour ride home took 12 hours. It was a weekend and definitely a day I would like to, but will never forget. Well, there is a bright side. I posted on Instagram what happened, not asking anyone for anything. But the couple I mentioned putting me up on the rainy night they sent some money for a new tyre. Another couple who had actually met there sent me an actual rear tyre for my bike. And someone else who I've never met sent a small amount to help. I am blessed by the motorcycle community. What was the worst day ever on my motorcycle has brought me closer to faith in humanity. Thank you for reading my Calamity Field Biker story. Mike aka Zanbiker on YouTube and Instagram. Well, Mike, I want to say thank you for your entry. Um, it was a really, really nice story. And as I said, there's always going to be issues. Things happen. That's life, isn't it? But it's getting through those things and still being able to smile about it in the end. I think that's the most important thing. So thank you for your story. It was really, really appreciated. And I really enjoyed it. And now we like to go to part two, the winning entry from Edward in Belper, Derbyshire. Well, um, I'm going to have to paraphrase Edward's story a fair bit. Um, it was quite long, but also, um, let, let's just say it, it does get rather colourful. And so to keep this PG rating that we like for this channel, uh, I'll paraphrase it and uh, try and tell it my own words the best way I can. Well, this is a story from quite a few years ago. Um, Edward came back to biking after quite a long break and um, he decided to meet up with some of his friends in Leicestershire. And um, they agreed a time. Um, he got told the, the name of the street, or the, sorry, the lane in the countryside where they're going to meet and said there'd be a car park there. Um, so Edward made his way out to the car park, um, got into the place, started cruising around um, driving around trying to look for his friends and saw some people in a piece or people some people parked up unfortunately knocked on the wrong car uh, got quite a bit of a shock <laughs> and uh, said right I better get out of here but uh, while he was then trying to get his way out of the car park quite quickly unfortunately um, he was stopped by the police um, who didn't uh, believe he was there for a bike meet um, showed the messages he did say that, well, I don't think anyone actually believed me. 
I now think I'm on a uh, on a police database somewhere. Um, but he did eventually go later and see his friend. So, so when I first told, read the full story, I, I was just I was in tears. I was laugh, I laughed so many times. I had to read it quite a few times. I know I have not done it any near the justice it needs. Um, there's a lot more detail, but like I said, to keep the PG rating, I think I better leave it at that. But um, one of the things from everyone's entries, I think, thing that really struck me was that life problems are part of life. You're always going to go along; things are going to happen. But um, having that ability to stop after things have happened, look back at them, and just laugh at yourself, um, not only sh it shows a, a good way to deal with these problems with yourself in the long term, and saying, you know what, stuff's happened. Um, I dealt with it. I did. Well, we had a good good job or bad job, but later I was able to, you know, get on with things and move on and learn from it and not really let it cause me any trouble. I think that resilience is one of the things that I love about bikers in the community. When we go through a hard time, if you can sit back and you can laugh at those hard times or challenges and um, you can sit and say with a smile, I think uh, it makes everything more than worthwhile. But I do want to say thank you to everyone for submitting your stories. It was wonderful for everyone. Thank you for the hard effort and the time that you took to send out to, to me to write everything. I enjoyed every single story that was sent in. Um, I want to say thank you again for you for listening. And um, but take care, ride safe and stay curious.